Welcome dear viewers to a journey through time, long before the age of dinosaurs. We'll explore the original lords of Earth, apex predators whose fossils reveal a fierce struggle for survival and breathtaking adaptations. Join me as we uncover the secrets of Earth's earliest rulers and witness the raw power of nature in a time before dinosaurs. Our journey begins in the distant Permian period nearly 300 million years ago, a time when the Earth looked vastly different from today. The air was thick and humid, and the land was covered with strange primitive plants and towering forests of giant ferns and horsetails. Insects the size of birds buzzed through the undergrowth, and the world was teeming with life forms both familiar and alien. During this era, the supercontinent known as Pangaea was slowly coming together, reshaping the face of the planet. Massive landmasses collided, forming a single vast expanse of land that stretched from pole to pole. This new geography created unique climates and ecosystems, setting the stage for the rise of extraordinary creatures. Among the dominant predators of this ancient world was Dimetrodon, a remarkable reptile larger than a modern lion and instantly recognizable by the enormous sail that rose from its back. This sail, supported by elongated spines, made Dimetrodon one of the most iconic animals of its time and a true ruler of the Permian landscape. Scientists believe that the sail may have served several important functions. One theory suggests it helped Dimetrodon warm up quickly in the morning sun, acting like a solar panel to absorb heat and regulate its body temperature. This would have given it a crucial advantage, allowing it to become active before its prey or rivals. Another possibility is that the sail was used for display, perhaps to attract mates or intimidate competitors. A larger, more colorful sail could signal strength and health, giving Dimetrodon an edge in the struggle for survival and reproduction. These displays may have played a key role in social interactions, much like the crests and colors of modern reptiles and birds. But Dimetrodon was more than just a show-off. Armed with a powerful jaw lined with sharp serrated teeth of varying sizes, it was a formidable hunter. Its diet included large amphibians and early reptiles, making it the apex predator of its environment. With its keen senses and deadly bite, Dimetrodon dominated the food chain for millions of years. Today, the fossils of Dimetrodon are invaluable to scientists. By studying its bones and teeth, paleontologists have uncovered clues about the evolution of reptiles and the distant ancestors of mammals, including us. Dimetrodon stands as a crucial link in the story of life on Earth, bridging the gap between ancient reptiles and the rise of mammals. Yet even the mighty Dimetrodon could not escape the greatest extinction event in Earth's history, the Permian-Triassic extinction, triggered by massive volcanic eruptions and climate upheaval, wiped out nearly 90% of all species on the planet. The world was plunged into chaos, and the age of the sail-backed predator came to a sudden dramatic end. In the aftermath, the Earth was left barren and desolate. The world would never be the same, but from this devastation, new forms of life would eventually emerge, paving the way for the next chapter in the story of our planet. Let's travel even further back to the Cambrian period, over 500 million years ago. Here the bizarre Anomalocaris ruled the seas with stalked eyes and a circular serrated mouth. Its spiky appendages and streamlined body made it a swift predator, feasting on trilobites. Anomalocaris's unique features challenged our understanding of early animal life and the Cambrian explosion. The Cambrian seas teemed with otherworldly creatures from trilobites to early fish. This was the dawn of complex life on Earth. Now we enter the Silurian period, a time over 420 million years ago when life in Earth's oceans was undergoing dramatic changes. In these ancient waters, one of the most formidable predators to ever exist made its home the giant sea scorpion known as Jekyllopterus. This incredible arthropod was a true giant of its era, prowling the murky rivers and coastal seas with an imposing presence that would have struck fear into any creature that crossed its path. Imagine encountering a scorpion-like creature stretching over eight feet in length, longer than most humans are tall. Its massive, spined claws were perfectly adapted for ambushing unsuspecting prey, snapping shut with incredible force. These claws were not just for show, they were deadly tools, capable of grasping and crushing anything from armored trilobites to swift-moving fish. The sheer size and power of Jekyllopterus made it a top predator in its ecosystem. 
Jacolopterus dominated the rivers and coastal environments preying on a wide variety of animals, its diet included fish, trilobites, and even other sea scorpions, making it both a hunter and a cannibal. Fossil evidence suggests that these creatures may have even competed with each other for territory and food, leading to fierce underwater battles. Its enormous size and formidable weaponry made Jacolopterus one of the largest arthropods to ever walk or swim the Earth. Scientists still puzzle over how such giants could thrive in ancient waters. Some theories suggest that higher oxygen levels in the Silurian atmosphere allowed arthropods to grow much larger than those we see today. Others point to the lack of large vertebrate predators, giving these invertebrates free reign over their domains. The Silurian seas themselves were vibrant and teeming with life. Coral reefs flourished, providing shelter and hunting grounds for countless species. Prehistoric fish, early jawless vertebrates, and a variety of invertebrates all shared these waters, creating a complex and dynamic ecosystem. The presence of giants like Jacolopterus is a testament to the richness and diversity of life during this period. Today, Jacolopterus stands as a reminder of Earth's astonishing past, a time when creatures beyond our wildest imagination ruled the waters. Its fossils, carefully preserved in stone, offer us a window into a world long vanished, yet still full of mystery and wonder. Eventually, the age of giant arthropods would come to an end as new forms of life began to rise. Early fish and vertebrates would take over the seas, setting the stage for the next great chapter in Earth's evolutionary story. But for a time, Jacolopterus was the undisputed giant of the Silurian, a true titan of the ancient world. Journey back in time to the Permian period over 250 million years ago, and meet Gorinicus, a remarkable saber-toothed predator whose very name is inspired by a legendary dragon from ancient folklore. This formidable creature roamed vast sun-baked landscapes long before the age of dinosaurs, ruling as one of the top predators of its time. Gorinicus was not just another prehistoric animal, it was a symbol of power and survival in a world teetering on the edge of transformation. Its most striking feature was its elongated, dagger-like canine teeth, lethal weapons designed for precision and efficiency. With these impressive fangs, Gorinicus could pierce the thick hides of its prey, striking at vital organs with deadly accuracy. These saber teeth were not just for show, they were the tools that allowed it to dominate its environment, making it a fearsome hunter in the ancient Permian world. But Gorinicus's story is not just about predation, it's about survival against all odds. When the Permian-Triassic extinction event struck, wiping out nearly 90% of Earth's species, Gorinicus managed to endure. In a world left barren and desolate, it adapted to the harsh new reality, finding ways to thrive as life slowly began to recover from the brink of annihilation. Its remarkable adaptability made it one of the era's most successful predators. Today, the fossils of Gorinicus offer scientists invaluable clues about how life rebounded after one of the greatest mass extinctions in Earth's history. Each fossil unearthed tells a story of resilience, adaptation, and the relentless drive to survive. The Permian period was a time of dramatic change, witnessing the rise of many new and diverse creatures. Each species from tiny burrowers to massive predators had to adapt quickly to shifting climates and landscapes. This era set the stage for the incredible evolutionary experiments that would follow, shaping the future of life on our planet. Gorinicus stands as a testament to evolution's power to overcome adversity. Its story reminds us that even in the face of overwhelming challenges, life finds a way to persist, adapt, and flourish. The legacy of this saber-toothed survivor continues to inspire scientists and enthusiasts alike. As the Permian period drew to a close, the stage was set for even more dramatic changes, ushering in new eras, new creatures, and the next chapters in the epic story of life on Earth. In the late Permian, Noknitsa, a tiger-sized predator, emerged after a mass extinction cleared the way. With saber-like fangs and powerful limbs, Noknitsa was built for speed and deadly attacks. The extinction event allowed it to thrive, becoming a dominant predator in its ecosystem. Fossils show Noknitsa's wide range and success, offering insights into how predators adapt after catastrophe. Its rise highlights evolution's unpredictability. Catastrophe can create new opportunities. As new life forms emerged, the world was primed for the next great evolutionary leap. The age of dinosaurs was on the horizon. Let's revisit the early Permian, 
where pelicosaurs, sail-backed creatures, ruled the land. These animals like Dimetrodon used their sails for thermoregulation or display, thriving in diverse habitats. Pelicosaurs were both carnivores and herbivores with mammal-like traits such as differentiated teeth and upright limbs. Their adaptability made them dominant land animals, paving the way for mammals. The reign of pelicosaurs marks a turning point in terrestrial evolution. Their fossils reveal a world teeming with diversity and innovation. These early rulers set the stage for the rise of more advanced life. Now meet the Therapsids, the ancestors of mammals, emerging in the Permian. With upright posture and specialized teeth, Therapsids were agile and efficient feeders. Evidence suggests they may have developed fur and warm-bloodedness, crucial for survival in varied environments. Therapsids thrived in forests and deserts, some becoming apex predators. Their evolutionary journey led to the dawn of mammals and a new era in Earth's history. The story of Therapsids is one of adaptation and resilience. Next we meet the archosaurs, reptiles that would give rise to dinosaurs and crocodiles. With unique skull openings and upright limbs, archosaurs outmaneuvered rivals and diversified rapidly. Some became fearsome predators, others herbivores, creating a complex ecosystem. The rise of archosaurs marks a pivotal moment, setting the stage for the age of dinosaurs. Their descendants would rule for over 180 million years, while crocodilians endure to this day. The archosaur legacy is one of dominance and survival. From Anomalocaris to Gorinicus, we've seen predators that shaped Earth long before dinosaurs. Their unique adaptations reveal the resilience and creativity of life throughout history. If you enjoyed this journey, like, share, and subscribe for more explorations into Earth's ancient past.